so I had a lot of people ask me like, dude, I know you smoke cigars and stuff like that, but they say they want to see my stash. So today is a special day. I'm going to show you guys my stash. All right. It's not a lot of stuff in here. I can't lie. I won't go through every single one, but I just show you guys some of the things that I have when it comes down to my humidor. Boom. Check it out. Check it out. It just sits nice and pretty right here, right next to my bed. And then I got a small humidor that I could travel with. But let's go and open this bad boy up. See what we got in here. And I'm going to turn on this light right here just so we can see even better. All right. Let's go and open this up, man. <clears throat> so here's my stash. That's the humidifier, and I got two of these gauges to kind of let me know the humidity. Like right now, we had 73 at the bottom, but we had 70. I go by this one up here, though. That's 70. I mean, 72 ain't too bad. But anyway, let's go through a little bit of these, man. Show y'all what I'm rocking, man, because a lot of people be asking. Not a, not a whole lot of expensive sticks, maybe a few, but, you know, it is what it is. And I don't, I don't usually smoke these all the time. This shit is like once every month or once every three weeks, give or take. Uh, but I try to keep my, my box with a decent amount of cigars in it. You know what I mean? So we got some uh, Grand Habano Vintages over there. We got some uh, KO. We got some, what's, the, what's this one right here? We got some KO Quad Extreme, I guess that's what they call that. Pick those up. Nice, nice cigar, nice cigar. We got the Ramon, I mean the Ramon Boisos over there. One, two, three, four, five. We got five of them bad boys. I got a Brick House. And I got a KO Brazil. Now this KO Brazil, man. This thing here, man. This is nice, man. Let me let me let me smell that. Yeah, this KO Brazil, man. This thing is nice, man. Real nice. Really, really, really nice. Then right here we got the Punch Rare Corojo. Now these comes out seasonal. I think they come out like once a year. So you gotta kind of catch these online. But these bad boys are huge, man. Look how big this is. That is a big stick. Um, I put one of these down, what, six days ago, and man, it took me an hour and ten to kill this, man. That's, if you want to sit on the front porch, man, and just have a cup of coffee or, or, or a glass of water, man, and just sit down and just read something or, you know what I mean, sit down and just watch YouTube videos, man, this is a good hobby right here. For me, at least for me, I'm not trying to explain, I'm not trying to tell you guys to go out and do it, but it's, it's good for me, you know what I mean, it's, it's for me. I'm an older guy, so, you know what I mean. Let's go to the bottom tray. Let me slide this bad boy out of the way. Now, down here in the bottom, I got a couple sticks that I really don't touch. And uh, they're not, like, the best sticks, but uh, a few of them are, like, real nice, you know. Uh, so, right here, we got some KOs. We got three different ones right here. Kind of like KOs. And we got these Gurkhas. Now, these them big boys. Pretty sure y'all know what the Gurkhas are for those cigar heads out there. But these are Gurkhas. Gurkhas. Then I got this uh, F-Bomb 601. Look how big this bad boy is. Now, this is a special occasion type of smoke, a fun one. Probably just use that. we we'll probably hit that at some point. A couple of years from now. Who knows? And then these three, one, two, three, four right here. They're just pretty cheap sticks. Nothing major. Got a Drew Estates Kentucky Fire Cured. Those are pretty good. Got a Rocky sitting over there. Got a Romeo and Juliet down here. Got another humidifying little thing right here. And a, and a Payne Mason down there. Barber pole. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, guys. That's my, uh, that's my uh, humidor. Figured I'd go ahead and show you guys, man. Let me give y'all a little, little quick view from the, from back there. So that's what I, that's what your boy rocking right there. You know what I mean? So I catch up with y'all.